The Delta IV was the last rocket to have the Delta name. It was effectively a completely different rocket than the Delta II, a all-hydrogen launch vehicle, but it was famous for the launch sequence, which would involve a massive fireball that would frequently engulf the rocket. Yes, it's normal for rockets to spray fire out of their engine nozzles, but the Delta IV would literally bathe itself in it. While this was easiest to see on the three-core heavy, it also happened on the smaller single-stick versions. So why would literal rocket scientists think this was a good idea? The Delta IV's engine was the RS-68, which is essentially a simplified version of the engines used on the space shuttle. Massively simplified. To pump the propellant, it uses a turbo pump driven by a fuel-rich gas generator, so that is already dumping lots of hydrogen gas overboard even before the main propellant valves are open. And then the startup is designed so that hydrogen runs through the engine before oxygen to make sure that there is no point where there is an oxygen-rich environment, which could be very bad for materials. This means in the few seconds before engine startup, there is a lot of excess hydrogen being dumped overboard. And to avoid this building up and potentially detonating, they burn it off early. Hence the big fireball which chars the exterior of the rocket. At one point, the predecessor to SLS, the Ares 5, was supposed to be powered by RS-68 engines, but they would have required to fix this giant fireball before they let humans fly on this. The Delta IV, however, only carried satellites, and as far as we can tell, none of them have ever complained about this spectacular start to their mission.